Hey guys, thanks for joining me. I'm going to do a quick flip through of my planner to show you guys how I organize a portion of my life. So I use my planner mainly for planning and recording my self-care regimens. This includes my meals, exercise, vlogs, journaling and daily gratitudes, and my wish lists. I do throw in my finances as well because I feel that this is the best way I can track my bills, payments, deposits, etc. I use my Google Calendar and some other applications to plan events and tasks related to work and school. I will go over the top applications I use for planning and organizing my work and school schedule in another video. So let's get right into the flip through. So this is an A5 six ring binder that I purchased from Amazon and I love it. It's a very simple design but it holds all of my inserts, notes, and planner stickers. It has two pen holders, one attached to the left cover and one attached to the right. I use this to hold my Pilot Feud Makase Color Brush Pen Extra Fine in black, which is my favorite pen to use for my planner. There are many pockets to hold cards, IDs, and notes, which is very useful. The binder also comes with a 20 centimeter ruler and a plastic insert. Another cute add-on that's included with your binder are these emoji stickers. I haven't used any yet, but I definitely will soon.
There is a pocket insert that comes with your binder as well and I use this to hold all of my planner stickers. There are so many planner sticker shops that you can find on Etsy and other websites but the majority of my planner stickers come from Samantha May Sticks. Samantha is a good friend of mine that started her own planner sticker shop and I have been obsessed with her products for years. She is such a talented entrepreneur so be sure to check out her website for more cute designs. I provided the link in the description. Now let's flip through all of the inserts. I designed all the inserts myself on Photoshop. The first is a monthly bill tracker. I made columns that list the bill item, the due date, the amount, and the 12 months. I check off the item every month after it has been paid. The second insert I made is a standard monthly calendar for me. I use the calendar to track all of my habits, which are labeled in the top right hand corner. I prefer to see my progress and how consistent I was in a monthly layout. The third insert I made is a weekly meal planner. Although I don't plan every meal out, I do record what I eat throughout the day to make sure that I'm not consuming too much or too little of a particular food group. For me, I'm all about moderation and achieving a well-balanced diet without putting too much pressure on myself. I have four copies of this insert, one for each week. The fourth insert I made is a weekly exercise planner. Similar to my weekly meal planner layout, I do not plan my exercise routine ahead of time, but I do try to exercise at least three times per week, and I record what kind of exercise I do. I also categorize my exercise into four types, cardio, weights, at-home workouts, and dance. I also have a note section where I can reflect on how I felt during the exercise and write down my thoughts. I also have four copies of this insert, one for each week. A new insert that I recently added into my planner is my vlog planner. This insert helps me brainstorm my content and plan out my videos. It's basically like a checklist for all of the videos that I upload to my YouTube channel. I write the script and more in-depth planning on my computer. This planner insert helps me stay on track. I try to upload at least 4-8 to eight videos per month, so I do have more than one copy of this particular planner insert. The fifth insert I made is a goal and gratitude insert. Here I list my top three priorities and goals for the week, and I also write down at least one thing that I'm thankful for every day. Journaling like this is a form of self-care for me because it helps me focus on the positive aspects of my life, no matter how rough and challenging a day can be. The sixth insert I made is my semester organizer for school. I am starting graduate school in fall 2020, and this insert just helps me plan the basics that I need to get started. It includes the semester start and end dates, my class timetable, and my class details. I will fill all of this out on May 20th, which is when incoming students are scheduled to sign up for classes. The final insert I made is my wish list, which is basically just a list of items that I would like to have one day. It's usually home items because I recently moved into a new apartment. And there you have it. This was my complete planner flip through for May 2020. I will probably have more ideas and inserts to add into my planner for the coming months, so stay tuned for my next planner video. I would love to hear how you guys organize your lives, so please leave a comment below of what kind of methods you use to plan and schedule. Also, for all of my planner addicts out there, let me know if you have any suggestions or tips for me. I would love to hear all of your feedback. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and visit my channel Simply Nala. If you like what you see, please subscribe and hit the bell notification. Mahalo for watching everyone and see you next time.